And I, you want to tell me that logical laws are the nature of existence? Well, in a universe that there is no minds, uh, would a rock be a rock and at the same time not be a rock, even if there was no minds, even if there was nobody to make that statement in that universe? Would it be itself and not itself at the same time? That's kind of what it gets down to. You're conflating is what you're doing. You're not, not uh, um, statements require minds. Okay, true statements require minds. If something is just existing, this would require a true statement about it for it to have its existence. So something cannot exist without it, a true statement. No, I didn't say that. I just said the opposite of that. In this other universe with no minds. What other universe with no minds? It's a hypothetical. <laughs> Hypothetically, let's say there was another universe with no minds in it. Let's say there was only rocks in that universe. Which I don't think what? is possible. I think it's impossible. Why is that impossible? Because it requires a mind for the universe to exist. So you're really. basically presupposing that in order for a universe to exist, God has to exist first. If I do presuppose that, and it has explanatory powers, and you presuppose God does not, and it has no explanatory powers, which one should we go with? Well, I could just presuppose that logical absolutes exist, because it couldn't be any other way. You're just presupposing an extra step. You peel enough layers of whatever we'll view, and there's going to be a set of things that are unaccounted for. Right now, God is unaccounted for. Why is God logical? What accounts for God's logic? His own nature. That's not an answer. Why is he logical is instead answer. of illogical? It's an answer. You don't like the answer. It's not a justified answer. It's just a presupposed answer. It's his nature. Yeah, I have no problem with that. Well, okay. I mean, if you don't have a problem with that, then I guess i got to accept that. The law, how do you account for the laws of logic's existence in, a, in an atheistic universe? Well, kind of how you account for God's it's in it's in their nature. How, kind of how you account for God being logical. It's saying, his nature. Are you or, saying that the laws of logic are properties of the universe? It's it's the nature of existence. It has to be itself, and it can't not be. It's, it can't You're be itself. And, I'm sorry. You're begging the question. How am I begging the question? You're just assuming they're true because they're true, and that's it. I'm saying, what if they couldn't be any other way? That's what you're saying about God. You don't know if they can or cannot be any other way. Well, that's the same. If you don't like the answer, it's kind of the same with your God answer. You're saying he's logical because it's his nature. It couldn't God, be any other way. You're doing the same thing I am. Let me ask you a question. You believe in the theory of evolution, right? Yes, but... Because I'll, it has explanatory power because you can look at the evidence and have a theory that seems to fit the evidence. So it has explanatory power, so you believe it. Can you prove that evolution is true? No, but you believe it largely on faith, and you presuppose certain things by which you then say, it has explanatory power, so therefore I will choose to believe it. If we presuppose God's existence, we have explanatory power in all kinds of areas. The atheistic worldview does not, particularly in the area of accounting for the laws of logic, or any objective moral standard, or even our own existence. Uh, I think that those are just uh, assertions that you're making because... Absolutely, there are assertions I'm making. I'm well, very well able and willing to back them up, too. No, because once you get back to God, you can't justify his logic. You can't tell me why he's logical instead of illogical, instead of just making an assumption and say it's his nature. Because if God was illogical to begin with, he couldn't make himself logical. So how did he? how is he logical? He just is. That's your answer. There's no way that you could account for that. The same way that sometimes yes, we I am accounting for it. I'm accounting for it by saying it's part of his nature. That is not accounting for it. I could say logical absolutes are logical absolutes because it's their nature. It's the nature of existence. It's the same okay. exact thing you're well, let's doing. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Okay? Let's talk about it. So are logical absolutes conceptual things? I wouldn't say I say logical is conceptual. I wouldn't say logical absolutes are conceptual. Logic is a process of the mind, right? Logic is a process of the mind. Logic is based on logical the laws of logic, right? The process of logic, yes. So the process of logic, which is of the mind, occurs in the mind. Mm -hmm. But these things are dependent upon the laws of logic for their validity, right? Right. So the laws of logic, are they conceptual or physical? Do you know? The laws of logic? 
by nature, physical by nature, blue, white, how much do they weigh? What What would you say? You know, I don't think that well, they are anything. You can't say that they're nothing because we're talking about them, and you use them, so you can't say they're nothing. I'm asking you what they are, what their nature, what their essence is. Okay. Well, you have certain options. They're either properties of the physical realm, they're conceptual entities or realities, they're spiritual manifestations. Uh, they could be blue or green or have... The laws a, a of logic are not a thing themselves. They are the essence of existence. They are... The laws of logic are the essence of existence? What does that exactly. mean? Exactly. They are what... Okay, let's... A rock. They are the essence of that rock. That rock is itself and it cannot be something else. The laws of logic are the essence of a rock. Is that is that confusing to you? A rock is itself. Can it be something else? You're you're conflating the statement about the rock with the rock. I'm asking you about the rock. Obviously, we have to talk about it, right? But well, you're presupposing the validity of the laws of logic to talk about a rock. Then what you're doing is conflating by saying the rock and the statement about the rock are equal. Well, because we, we can't do it any other way. We have to talk about it. You can, if you assume God exists. I'm sorry, because then we get back to God, and it's the same thing. You can't account for for God's nature. You can't account for his logical nature. You can't yes, say... Can. I'm sorry? It's part of his essence. You're just It's just an assumption. That's it. Yes, it's it not... is an assumption, and it works very, very well. It to has you, great... it works very, very well, but... I mean, it has just, great explanatory power. Think we, about it. It's the, the same. laws of logic are transcendent. They're not dependent upon space and time for their validity. They are of the mind since they are laws and they're abstractions that are of the mind. Logic is a process of the mind, and these laws of logic are also of the mind. That's an equivocation you again. You're, hold on. The, if you wanna, hold on. If you want to offer me something different, you know, besides the conceptual option and the physical option, then please do. If you want to say you don't know the third option, but you know it exists, and hence commit what's called the Dillahanty fallacy, then that's fine. You can go down that road if you want. But I'm asking you to account for them from your atheistic perspective. If you want to say that the laws of logic are properties of the universe, that doesn't work, because properties are immeasurable. If you want to say that they're not conceptual things, not related to the mind, then what are they? If you say, I don't know, as Dillahanty does, because he knows that the, the corollary is problematic for his position, and he has to plead in ignorance, well then fine, do that and say you just don't know. Then I can pick up the slack from here and tell you, if we presuppose God's existence, it all works perfectly. If we have a reason to, to believe something because it has sufficient explanatory power, you should logically be obligated to hold that position if your position has no explanatory power. But it's not an issue of explanatory power. It's an issue of your will. You don't want God to exist. That's the problem. I had to preach okay, it. I'll, I'll preach just say it. one last thing, and then, you know, Bible thumping keeps muting me, but I'm, I'm done. I'm pretty much done. I just wanted to say this last thing. So you keep asking me what these logical absolutes are. They're, are they physical? I, okay, so let's say we don't know what they are. Well, well, I'll just ask you one question. What is God? What is the nature of God? Is he physical? Is he no. material? Then what no. is he? You can't tell me what he's not. You got to tell me what he is, or else we're on the same bow, my friend. No, here, here we go. We recognize Wait, Matt. Matt let, let me say this, Matt. Mike, I keep, I keep um, muting you so that we can have a conversation, and, and you're not allowing Matt Slick to talk. So that, that's why I keep muting you. And when he's you done, for I like honor. thirty minutes. Are you serious? Oh, are you serious? All right. Here's the thing. Mike, you came in here, you, you you were very cordial, and all of a sudden you become hostile. I don't understand why. Go ahead, Max. Like, and Mike, if you can't if you can't calm down, I'll boot you. But we're having a good conversation. You're just getting overexcited. Go ahead, Matt. Let me say this. When atheists ask me to define the very nature of God, that's like me asking them to define the very nature of humanity. How do you define what humanity is? You don't. You define, you recognize it by the attributes it possesses. We have wills, we have arms, we have legs, we have the ability to be cognitive, to hate, to love. The attributes that emanate out of the essence. How do you describe the essence of essence is what you're asking me. 
It's not possible for me or anybody else to say this is the essence of God's nature. It was pretty much at this point uh, that I responded by telling Matt, well, this is a pretty nice double standard you're using here. Uh, on one side, uh, you're demanding for us to tell you what the nature of these logical absolutes are, uh, not to tell you what they're not. Uh, on the other hand, uh, when we ask you to tell us what the nature of God is, uh, you can't. Uh, you will tell us what he's not, uh, but you can't tell us what he is. Uh, but to you, this isn't a problem. And it really makes me wonder, why not? I mean, if you really had any kind of consistency, and if you were intellectually honest, uh, you'd come to the realization that either we can't account for logical absolutes without God, or uh, you've done nothing by saying that God accounts for these logical absolutes. So once you get to God, uh, you can't account for his nature. You can't account for the way that God is. You can't account for why God is one way instead of another way. On here and uh, let you know how the conversation finished. Uh, I don't know why the Bible Thumper got rid of that audio. It uh, it's really seems uh, pretty dishonest on his part. Um, I think it was a key point on my part that I made at the end. But you couldn't hear me. You couldn't hear what I was saying, so I decided to come on here and, and just, you know, add this on to the actual video of us uh, having our dialogue. I just think it was BS, the way that he handled our dialogue towards the end. Uh, you know, Matt went on these rants, he was just rambling on for three, four minutes, and I completely let him finish. Uh, but when I would try to make my point, you know, uh, the Bible thumper kept muting me. And then I decided, you know what, I'm done. Uh, but I want to make... Uh, my final point and uh, I said that he kept muting me and he threatened to kick me out he said that I wasn't allowing a dialogue to take place I wasn't allowing Matt to finish when if you see the video you'll see that's not the case whatsoever but again you know they like to view things in their own way so you know what can I say uh, you guys be the judge